Rich, 157 not out, got to be happy with that. Yeah, I can't complain. I um, uh, haven't scored a 4800 for a long time, so it's, uh, it's good to get one on, especially a big one, and considering how the wicket's playing and the team position to, to push the guys forward, it's very good. Um, you've showed good form in the T20 competition this year, um, but how nice was it you know, to finally hit form in, in the four-day format? Yeah, I mean, it's, listen, it's, it's a lot easier in 2020 if you want to call it that because you can be a bit more aggressive and bowlers don't quite sit on you and they don't come and, and use a red ball firstly. I mean, the, the Dukes here yeah, move around a lot more than, than the cookers that we use in the white stuff. So, um, yeah, listen, it's, it's been a work in progress. I've gone, gone behind the scenes with, uh, with a couple of guys that I know just to work on a few technical things and they seem to be coming off. Um, we go into day three with a really strong lead. How would you, you know, assess um, our position in the game? Um, we, we're, not, we're not in a, in a demanding position quite yet. I think it's one where we could pitch up tomorrow and capitulate and we're only 130 ahead and they could bat for a session and a half and be even. So it's, it's one of those where we've got to go in tomorrow and, and rebuild and, and make sure that we almost get them out of the game. If we get to 200, 250 ahead, their heads will be down, they'll come back out batting going, listen, survival instead of trying to, trying to move the game forward. So I think it's going to be... Uh, a good hard first session tomorrow and if we can get through that we can kick off.